We are overjoyed to be able to share with you today some very significant news that may be of great assistance to older citizens who are receiving payments from the ASSI or SAI. Or SAI. There is a possibility that you will be eligible for a substantial rise in SANAP slash food payments, which will go from $2,750 to $4,250. During these challenging times, these additional contributions are intended to ensure that our senior population has constant access to nutritious food and the critical help they require. In order to ensure that everyone is informed of their circumstances, we will make it very obvious who is qualified to get these updated benefits. To ensure that you are able to obtain these additional benefits, we will walk you through each step of the application process in meticulous detail. To ensure that you make the most of the assistance that is at your disposal, it is imperative that you adhere to the method in its entirety. To ensure that you are aware of when and how to apply for these significant benefits and that you do not miss out on them, we will bring to your notice critical dates and deadlines. In times of economic uncertainty, these advantages are especially valuable because of their exceptional value. We intend to make it possible for every elderly citizen who is eligible to receive assistance by providing them with the information and resources they require to provide assistance to individuals and families with low incomes in the process of purchasing nutritious meals. The federal government established a program that is currently known as the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, formerly known as Food Stamps. The delivery of SAMP rewards is accomplished through the use of electronic benefit transfer EBT cards, which operate in a manner analogous to that of debit cards at authorized businesses. Beneficiaries of the SANAE program are distributed using the EBT system. The SANAP card is essentially a plastic card that functions and appears in the same manner as a debit card when you are authorized to use it. Your EBT card will be provided to you and it will be loaded with the amount of your monthly benefit. SAMP is the organization that provides the financial assistance, while EBT is the method that is used to distribute the benefits. Every month, your SAMP benefits are loaded onto your EBT card, which enables you to purchase meals that meet the requirements at stores who are participating in the program. There is a possibility that candidates who are younger than 60 years old will be subject to different conditions for eligibility than seniors would be. There are some standards and deductions that may make it easier for seniors to qualify for the program, despite the fact that household size and assets are taken into consideration. You may be automatically eligible for supplemental security income, sometimes known as SSA in certain counties if you are receiving benefits from the Social Security Administration. This is what we mean when we talk about categorical eligibility. Uh, despite the fact that eligibility for the supplemental nutrition assistance. Program SNAP is based on SSI income. There are special deductions and criteria for SSI participants that can boost your chances of getting approved for SNAP. The maximum monthly SAM payout for a household consisting of a single individual is $281 as of the year 2024. However, the actual amount that you receive will be determined by your specific circumstances, which will include your income and the amount that you spend. In a few of states, you are able to submit an application for both SAMP and SSI at the same time. It's possible that you'll need to submit a different application for other positions as opposed to SSI. Receiving Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, does not immediately allow you to receive Social Security Disability Insurance SAMP. However, despite having a modest income, a significant number of people who get SDA are qualified. For the purposes of the SAMP, Social Security Disability Insurance benefits are regarded to be unearned income. Still, there are exclusions and deductions that may help you meet the requirements. If you are receiving Social Security Disability Insurance, SDI, your medical expenses may be deducted from your income in order to establish whether or not you are eligible for the State Assistance for Needy Persons Program, SAMP. The quantity of advantages that you receive can grow as a result of this. As an SDI recipient, we'll walk you through the process of applying for SAMP, including what paperwork you'll need and how to appropriately report your income and expenses. Depending on the kind and quantity of benefits they receive from the VA, veterans may be eligible for SNAP. We'll explain the ways in which various VA benefits like pensions, aid in attendance and disability compensation affect SNAP eligibility and benefit amounts. A number of states offer veterans who are applying for SNAP access to specialized programs or simplified application processes. In this meeting, we will talk about these opportunities and how to make the most of them. Discover how to apply for SAMP as a veteran, what paperwork you'll need, and how to accurately report your VA benefits. SAG permits a number of deductions that may reduce your taxable income and thereby raise your benefit amount. Standard deductions, medical expense deductions, and housing cost deductions will all be covered. If you are handicapped or older than 60, you might be entitled to deduct medical expenditures that cost more than $35 per month. Your SAM benefits may rise dramatically as a result. Find out how you might potentially improve your SAM benefits by learning how to deduct your housing expenditures, including utilities. It is essential to know when and how to report changes in your household composition, income or expenses in order to guarantee you receive the correct amount of benefits. We'll give you a detailed list of locations where you can use your EBT card, which includes certain online shops, farmers markets and supermarkets. A large range of food products can be purchased using SNAP benefits. 
We'll provide you a comprehensive list of acceptable products along with a few unexpected additions you might not have known about. To minimize confusion at checkout, it's equally vital to know what things are not eligible for purchase with SNAP benefits. Find out how to protect your PIN and EBT card, as well as what to do in the event that it is stolen, lost or damaged. When fresh fruits and vegetables are purchased using Cent AP benefits, several states offer programs that double their worth. We'll go over how these programs operate and where you may locate them locally. For seniors with modest incomes, the Commodity Supplemental Food Program, or SAMP, offers food packages. Find out how it can enhance the benefits of your Cent AP. For seniors who qualify, the Senior Farmers Market Nutrition Program offers coupons for fresh produce purchases at farmers markets. We'll go over how to sign up and apply it to your SAMP benefits. Congregate meal places and Meals on Wheels might offer further nutrition assistance. We'll talk about how they operate and where to locate them in your neighborhood. And find out more about the SAMP Education Program, which provides free nutrition education to help you enhance your health and maximize your benefits. Learn about the USDA's. Choose My Plate for Older Adults program, which is designed especially for seniors and provides advice on meal planning and nutrition. We'll provide you advice on where to look for nearby nutrition courses, cooking sessions, and other resources to help you achieve your healthy eating objectives. Examine online tools that can assist you in allocating your SAMP benefits. On a tight budget, organize your meals and look for dishes that maximize nutrition. We'll dispel common misconceptions regarding SAMP and EBT. Use these valuable advantages with greater ease. Find out what multilingual resources and translation services are available to non-English speakers applying for. SAMP. Find out about authorized representatives and online application processes for seniors who are homebound. We'll offer powerful viewpoints on utilizing SENAP benefits and techniques for handling any unfavorable attitudes you may come across. We'll give you a thorough list of all the paperwork you need to apply for SAMP, specifically designed for people receiving VA, SSI, and SDI benefits. Discover how to complete the online application process, including how to save your work and create an account. If you would rather apply over the phone, we will send you instructions on how to get ready for the call and what to expect. If you decide to apply in person, we will go over what documents and questions to bring. For most SAMP applications, an interview is necessary. We'll give you an overview of what to anticipate and how to properly present your case. Find out how long the application procedure usually takes and what to do in case you require immediate help. We'll go over when and how you can expect your EBT card and how to turn it on, as well as your obligations to report adjustments to your household size, composition, or income. Benefits from CIP are normally certified for a predetermined time. We will elucidate the risk certification procedure to guarantee that you maintain your perks. We will assist you with the appeals process if your application is rejected or if you have a disagreement with the benefit amount. Learn about the experiences of other elderly people who have completed the SNAP application process successfully and how it has changed their life. We'll discover useful advice on maximizing your SNAP benefits from seasoned beneficiaries. Find out how other elderly people manage a healthy diet on a budget by using their SNAP benefits. Learn about the ways that some elderly people have taken on the role of community ambassadors for SNAP and other nutrition initiatives. Keep up with proposed SAMP reforms and their potential effects on older citizens. Find out what changes to the EBT system are planned and how they could facilitate the use of your benefits. Learn about Test SAMP's expansion to include online food shopping and the implications for you. We'll find out how you can support policies and programs related to senior nutrition. We'll talk about typical queries and worries like will requesting CENAPE have an impact on my other benefits? Can I be eligible for SNAP if I own a car or a house? What happens if I live with relatives? If I live in an assisted living or nursing home, am I still eligible to get SNAP benefits? How frequently must I renew my SAMP certification? We will give you the contact details of federal and state organizations that can provide more information and support. Find out about local